guys, what's good? Welcome back. Of course, who's in the building? Cooking with Tammy, and I'm back with another recipe, guys. Yes, tonight we're going to be making Cajun fried stuffed shrimp, and let me tell you, it's going to be absolutely delicious and so amazing. So, without further ado, and all that long talking, guys, let's introduce these ingredients and get to cooking. First thing we're going to need for our delicious recipe is we're going to need some jumbo shrimp, jumbo or colossal. Nothing smaller because we're going to be stuffing the shrimp. And when you're working with the bigger size shrimp, or should I say the larger size shrimp, it's much easier to stuff. Also, we're going to need lump crab, as well as mayo, Dijon mustard, Worcestershire sauce, Cajun seasoning, Old Bay, breadcrumbs, eggs, and for our breading, we're going to need all-purpose flour, more eggs, yes, we do. And we're also going to need some whole milk, as well as Zatarain's seasoned cornmeal fish mix, and Italian breadcrumbs. Let's get to cooking. Our shrimp has been washed and cleaned and deveined, yes, on both sides. And we took the shell off, however, we left the tail on. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna butterfly the shrimp. Just take a paring knife, paring knife works the best. And you just go slightly, not too rough, not too crazy. And you just basically go down the back of the shrimp, just like this. And your shrimp is perfectly butterflied. At this point in time, we're done with butterflying our shrimp. So we could put the shrimp back in the fridge to stay cool, or we could just put it to the side, depending on how fast we're working. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make our crab mix for our stuffed shrimp. We're gonna add all of our mayo to the bowl. We're also gonna add our Dijon mustard, as well as our Cajun seasoning. Our Old Bay seasoning, of course. Our Worcestershire sauce. And last but not least, our egg. We're gonna take our whisk and we're gonna combine all of the ingredients together. Just like that, real simple, real easy. Mix it up really good. This is gonna be so tasty, trust me. All right, everything is well incorporated. And we have our lump crab right here. We're gonna add our jumbo lump crab, of course. And we're just gonna fold it in. We're not gonna go in there and mash it up like we're making mashed potatoes. We're just gonna fold it in because you want those nice chunky bits of crab meat when you stuff your shrimp. We want to be able to mold our crab meat, so we're going for the perfect consistency. I'm going to add a little bit more of breadcrumbs. We're going to start slow. We're not going to go in there and get crazy and add a ton. We can't take out, but we can always add. It's still a little loose, so it's okay to add some more. And of course, these are Italian breadcrumbs. I want that flavor. I want flavor from everything from start to finish. How much breadcrumbs do I add according to how much you're making? You're going for a, almost as if you're making a uh, salmon patty. You wanna be able to mold it together. If you're not able to mold it together, then of course you're gonna need some more breadcrumbs. Let's take it, let's see if we can mold it. And to be honest with you, this is perfect. I don't need to add any more breadcrumbs. This is perfect. See what I'm saying? mold it into shape with no problem. So as we're gonna take our crab meat and we're gonna mold it. According to the size of our jumbo shrimp, this would be perfect. And of course, this is a baking sheet lined with wax paper because we don't want anything to get stuck. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be so delicious. I'm gonna place it right here. Crabby patty number two. <laughs> and we're working on number three. And this process, believe it or not, goes pretty fast. If you have about 10 pieces of shrimp, obviously you're gonna uh, mold 10 pieces of crab patties. I'm just gonna call it crab patties for now, but you guys get what I'm saying. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna continue molding and I'll show you what the next step is. All right, as you guys can see, we are done. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna place this into the refrigerator for, not just the refrigerator, 
let me take it take it back a few notches we're gonna place it into the freezer for about 15 minutes because we want uh, crab meat to harden up just a bit so when we stuff it and fry it and all that stuff it will definitely hold together all right so about 15 minutes into the freezer and we're gonna keep doing what we gotta do. Our crab meat is out of the refrigerator, which is perfect. Right now we're gonna work on our breading station. We have our all-purpose flour, as well as our Zatarain's cornmeal, and we have our eggs, our milk, and our Italian breadcrumbs. Now, I'm a girl that loves to personalize everything. Even though we're working with Zatarain's cornmeal, here's what we're gonna do to personalize it and give it that, you know, that touch. We're gonna add some breadcrumbs, of course, and these are the Italian breadcrumbs. I mentioned it before. We're also going to add some Cajun seasoning. Not going to add too much, but we're going to add enough. We're also going to add some paprika. Give it a nice color. And this is not the smoky paprika. This is just the regular paprika. And I'm only doing that for that color. We're also going to add some garlic powder. as well as onion powder. We're gonna mix it in really good. Adding the breadcrumbs to the cornmeal mix is gonna give it a nice texture. It's gonna also give it somewhat of a crunchy texture, but it's not gonna be overly crunchy if that makes sense. Now, if you want it to be overly crunchy, of course, you're gonna go in with the panko breadcrumbs. But for this particular mix, we're just going to have a nice, it's just going to be perfect. It's going to be the perfect contrast of texture and flavor. Mix it in really good. We want that even distribution of seasoning. We don't want like seasoning to only be on one side and when you dredge it and you take a bite, one piece has more seasoning than the other. That's not cool. You want it to be an even, an even situation going on when you bite into it. Next up on the assembly line is our eggs. What we're gonna do is we're gonna mix our eggs in with the whisk. And we're gonna add our milk, and of course this is whole milk. And what we're doing is we're creating uh, egg wash. Combine the eggs with the milk, and this is perfect. Time for the fun part, guys, yes! We're gonna take our perfectly butterfly shrimp, and we are gonna add our crab meat. And as you guys can see, it's the perfect fit. Yes, it is. We're gonna sit it right on the top, just like that. And basically just mold it, just mold it in there. Mm -hmm. Now you see how it works out when you place the crab meat in the refrigerator? It stays and you can mold it however which way you want to, right? Just like that, perfect. This is what we are going for. Now, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna dredge it in the flour, put it to sit right there just like that. Quick and easy recipe, but very impressive. And here's the thing, yeah, you have a little time where you have to take the crab meat, place it in the refrigerator, so on and so forth. You gotta do certain things, but here's the thing, especially around the holidays, this. There's always something to do. So while the crab meat is hardening up in the refrigerator, find something else to do, right? Maybe mashing some potatoes, working on the turkey, who knows? But there's always something to do. And believe you me, the 10 to 15 minutes is gonna go by so fast. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add it to the egg wash, just like that. And of course, last but not least, we're gonna add it to our customized cornmeal mixture along with our Italian breadcrumbs. Pat it on in there. Shake off any excess while being gentle. So I wanna move like a maniac with this one. <laughs> and we're gonna place this back onto our, uh, not our cutting board, but our baking sheet, our lined baking sheet. We're gonna set it right here just like that. Next contestant up. <laughs> Pat it on in. And of course, at this point in time, we can move a little faster. Pat it 
Add it to the egg. Straight in the egg wash you go. And we're gonna add it to our cornmeal mixture once again. And you notice what I'm doing, right? I'm not taking the shrimp and literally taking it and dredging it and tossing it. No, I'm placing it into the cornmeal mixture, yes. But I'm taking the cornmeal and I'm adding the cornmeal to the shrimp. That way we don't get too much movement going on because we don't want our crab meat to separate from our shrimp. So in the meanwhile, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue stuffing the shrimp and I'm gonna show you what to do next. And let me tell you something, you're not gonna put it in the deep fryer just yet. Trust me, you don't wanna do that. So do not click off the video, put it in the deep fryer and then say, guess what? My stuffed shrimp didn't come out the way it was supposed to. You gotta be patient. Anyway, <laughs> continue watching and I'll show you what to do next. It's been about 15 minutes and check it out. Everything is nice and solidified. Everything is held together. Now here's the thing, I know it's the holidays and it can be hectic. So I wanna take the time out to give you some pointers and tips. You could definitely stuff the shrimp the night before and literally place it in the freezer and let it sit there overnight because the stuffing process could definitely be timely. It could take some time, especially if you're making a large amount, depending on the amount of people that you're feeding. The oil is nice and hot and ready to go. We're working with about, let's see, 350 to 375. You don't want your oil to be too hot because guess what? Then you're gonna literally fry the outside and the inside is not gonna be cooked all the way through. So you want that balance. You want that balance of heat. You don't want it overheat and you don't want to undercook. So anywhere from 350 to 375 is perfect. Make sure you fill that pan up. With oil, of course, because you want to deep fry. Also, we're not going to overcrowd the pan because we don't want to steam our crab stuffed shrimp. We want to fry it. We want to get that nice, we don't want to sear it, but we want to get that nice crunch. All right, and that even heat distribution going on. So I would give, let's see, I would say honestly, these are some big old jumbo colossal size shrimp. So about five, anywhere between four and a half to about seven minutes, we're gonna cook our shrimp. Our crab stuffed shrimp is finished. Check it out, look at how beautiful. And we have our cooling rack station set up right here because of course we want that oil to drip off because we want it to remain nice and crispy. And if it sits in the oil, it's not gonna be crispy. And to top it off even more, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to make a quick and delicious sweet and spicy sauce that's gonna complement our crab stuffed shrimp. For our sweet and spicy aioli sauce, we're gonna need some mayo and a couple tablespoons of honey. I would say about one to two. I'm also gonna use some chili powder for that heat. We're not gonna add, you know what? I'm not gonna say we're not gonna add too much. You're gonna add however much you like or how much your guests like. Now, if I were you, I'd probably make two different uh, sauces with two different heat levels. One with a little bit more chili and one with a little less. Just in case you have that person that can't eat spice, you wanna make sure you have something complimentary for everybody. We're just gonna give it a good mix. And of course, using a separate spoon, you're gonna taste it. That is almost perfect. I'm gonna add a little bit more spice. It has a perfect sweet contrast. Mix it in really good. And this, my friends, is it. Time for staging. Look at how beautiful our crab stuffed shrimp is finished. And let me tell you, it makes the perfect holiday appetizer. As I mentioned earlier, all you have to do if you're pressed for time, stuff the shrimp the night before, and it makes the ultimate difference. So tasty, so delicious, not to mention our quick and easy. As always, I'm cooking with Tammy. Definitely give this recipe a try, especially for the holidays. Impress your guests, knock everybody off their feet, and I will catch you guys in another video. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Definitely hit me up in the comment section. Let me know how everything turns out. And most importantly, don't forget to share because what? Sharing is caring. And I will catch you guys in another video. Enjoy your crab stuffed shrimp. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.